There are several ways to make a deep clone of an object in JavaScript. Some of them are a little hacky and some of them require third-party libraries, but did you know that there's now a built-in function that can do all of that for you? What's up everyone, my name is James Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics and I spend a lot of time focused on JavaScript fundamentals and one of those fundamentals is working with JavaScript objects and specifically in this case, understanding how to make copies of objects, understanding what deep clones of objects are and how those things are related. So in this video, we're gonna cover this new built-in function which is structured clone in JavaScript and we're gonna use examples to build up to why that is so beneficial. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's say I start with a person object up here that has two properties, name and age of 32. I just had my birthday, so person one dot age plus plus now was 32. And let's say I wanna make a copy of that. Well, oftentimes what people do is they say, uh, they'll uh, say person two equals, and then they'll assign it directly to person one. Great, you get a copy of it in theory, but that's not actually what happens. So let's add a little snippet in here to test this. So let's say we log person one and then we update the name of person two to be random and then log out person one again. Well, what happens, we actually see that person one has now been updated because when we do a direct assignment, we're now pointing person two and person one to the same object in memory. We didn't actually make a copy of that object, we just created another pointer to it. So that's fine, so what do we do next? Well, instead of doing direct assignment, what we can do is we can say person two equals and then we can use the spread operator to spread out the properties of person one into a new object for person two. And now we can log this out and you'll see that the original object was unaffected like we want. The problem with this though, is that the spread operator only goes one level deep. What does that mean? Well, let's say I had a spouse property in here and my spouse's name is Jess. Well, if I try to then update the spouse dot name to random, you'll see it actually does affect person one object because the spread operator only copies things one level deep. So the spouse property, it didn't copy that object, it just added over another pointer to that same object in memory. So this is where deep clones become crucial in JavaScript is how do you get, how do you get a full copy of this thing? Before we go on to the next theme, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Storyblock. Storyblock is an amazing headless CMS option that offers a unique combination of visual editing tools and highly customizable content blocks for marketers on top of a modern headless architecture for our developers. That means you can use Storyblock with your favorite framework, whether it's Feltkit or React or Next or Astro or anything like that. You can pull in data from Storyblock and be able to work with it easily and seamlessly in your code base. One of my favorite features is the live preview, which enables you to preview all of your data inside of Storyblock exactly how it's gonna look on your website after you make a couple of connections. So Storyblock is an amazing headless CMS option. Make sure to try it out with a link in the description below. And so a lot of people started to use this kind of JSON stringify hack. And so what a JSON stringify hack is, is we say JSON.stringify and we stringify the object that we wanna copy. And then we parse that back into JSON. So JSON.parse, JSON.stringify. And then we can paste in our same test here and notice that, hey, this is great because the first one isn't affected. So that works and it works in a lot of different cases, but it doesn't work in each one. So inside of Stack Overflow, I pulled up this reference to older answers on how to do this, which includes the parse stringify hack. And it says, if you're not using dates, functions, undefined infinity and all these other things, it will work great. But the problem is it doesn't work for some of those unique uh, use cases. So you have to be really careful when you use that to make sure you know if it's gonna actually make a true copy in the way that you expect. Now after that, or because of that, people would often jump towards the clone deep function, which is built into Lodash. Lodash is a third party library, which means you need to add it to your project. And then you can call the clone deep function from Lodash. There's other packages that have similar things, but the downside is this is an external third party package that you have to install versus what is now built into the language which is structured clone. So with structured clone, you call the function, pass in the object that you want to get the deep copy of, and then we can pass in our test over here, and this is gonna continue to work where it's not affecting object one. So this is making a true deep clone where it goes all the way through the nested 
uh, objects and I think even handles like circular references and things if it has that. But you can see the documentation on here. Fairly simple to use, returns to you this deep copy of the original value and you can go read more about deep copies there. Now you may be wondering, where can I actually use this? Well, on caniuse.com, this has really good support. So Chrome, Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, not IE 11, but that's a separate conversation. And then you notice that I was running this inside of Node, or maybe you didn't. And I'm actually running this with the watch command, which will auto restart this every time. So I used to use Nodemon. Now this is a built-in command, which is really nice. And then lastly, I'll show you browser support. If I open up Google Chrome, go into the console and start to type structured clone, that function's already inside of here with the version I have to use. So pretty good support. You no longer have to bring in third-party packages. You no longer have to use JSON parse JSON stringify hack. You have a function built into JavaScript to make deep clones of your objects, which is pretty neat. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what other sort of JavaScript concepts and fundamentals you'd like to see on this channel. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.